Ryan Murphy um, created a procedural unlike anyone that anybody's seen up to this point. Mm -hmm. And when he described it to me in our first meeting, he said it was going to be adrenalized and it was going to move. And he kept doing this with his fist. And we get some flack from firefighters once in a while. Yeah. Because, well, not all of. Uh, not everything's accurate. They enjoy the show, but I think they poke fun sometimes. But we have firefighter consultants on set and they would show us how to do it. And then if the director or the writers felt like it should be done a certain way to tell the story, which was counter to that, that usually wins out. All right, Peter couldn't give away too many details about the rest of season one. It is a Ryan Murphy show after all, but he did give us a tiny little sneak peek. He says there are gonna be some surprises and big moments, especially in the last two episodes, but the season finale, he says it's hopeful, which is good news since the show has already been renewed for season two. And guys, we are People Magazine, so we couldn't let Peter go without asking him what he thinks about his name doppelganger, at least in the way it's spelled pretty much, Peter Krause from The Bachelorette. There's been some confusion, especially when the names of the men vying for Rachel's heart were initially announced last year, but to this day, you can't can't do a Google search on one without finding out what the other is up to. So is Peter Krause aware of all this and what does he think about it? The Bachelorette, I don't know if this is a big, a big of a part of your life as it is ours. Uh, it's not, okay. I'm sorry to say. Okay. Or maybe I'm not sorry, but I, I, I do watch certain, I, I've watched The Amazing Race and things like that, but I've not been a, a is that ever. Is that like your guilty pleasure TV Viewer. show? That, and then it, it used to be, because it was on in the afternoon when I'd sometimes get off work, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh my nice. goodness. <laughs> now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Will Smith is a funny guy. <laughs>